Hello stampers, welcome to 3D Thursday. Today for my 3D project, um, I'm excited to use some new product with you um, since the catalog is, the new catalog is coming out really, really soon. So I'm excited to use new stuff and to do a 3D item for you. So today, this is going to be the 3D item I'm going to show you. This is a gift card holder and it's kind of a, a crossfold gift card holder. Okay, I found this on Pinterest. I thought it was super cute um, and decided I would figure out how to make it um, and teach it to all of you. So are you ready to do this? All right, let's do this. All right, so the first thing you're going to need is a piece of cardstock that measures eight and a half by 11, so a full sheet. Then you're going to need your trimmer or your score, whichever you prefer. And the first thing you're going to do is along the long side, you're going to score your cardstock at five and a half, okay? Then you're gonna turn it 90 degree angle and you're going to score it at four and a quarter. So yes, basically what you are doing is you are putting your cardstock into four quadrants, okay? Then what we're going to do is we're going to take our, let's see, how do I wanna do this? Now I gotta figure out what I'm doing here. We're gonna take our cardstock and you're going to lay it on your trimmer. And some of you have bigger trimmers and so this is easier. But basically what we're trying to do is we're trying to cut our cardstock diagonally, okay? So I have found that I can do it with this one fairly easily. And that is I'm just going to lay my cardstock on my trimmer and if you can see up here, let me move my trimmer down a little bit, I'm just going to put this corner so that it's lined up in the little trough of the cutting blade and I'm gonna move it down this way so you can see so that the bottom corner is also lined up with the little trough of the cutting blade, okay? So I'm going to do this and let me realign because I moved and I'm just going to use my cutter and cut as much of it as it will, okay? Now, the cardstock is longer than the cutting trough, so it's not gonna cut the whole thing, but I have found that it does a pretty decent job and will cut all but the last maybe half inch to three quarters of an inch. So then I just take my card or my scissors and I just finish it, okay? So then this makes actually two gift card holders, so you're only gonna need one half of it. Okay, so then what I'm going to do, my score marks are already on here. I'm first going to fold it in this way, okay? You're going to use your bone folder so that it's nice and crisp. And I have noticed my cutting, my trimmer blade needs to be replaced. So if you end up with cardstock cut that is kind of fuzzy, all you have to do is take your scissors and just carefully trim down the cut area just like that, okay? And let's see, this side could use a little bit too. So again, just gonna take my scissors, and you don't really wanna cut off, you just want to give it a little bit of a haircut, okay? So I'm going to fold this over, use my bone folder, then I'm gonna take the top piece, fold it down, and you just wanna make sure that things are lined up pretty good so that they don't cross over each other, okay? So that they both freely open and close like that, okay? So now we're ready to set that aside. Next, you're going to need a piece of coordinating cardstock that measures five and a quarter by four. And then you're going to need a piece of designer series paper that is a quarter of an inch smaller, okay? On two of the sides. So this one's going to measure five inches by three and three fourths. Okay, so now we want these pieces to go on the front here. So you're going to see that they need to be trimmed going down this way. So again, we're gonna take our trimmer and we're gonna trim both of these pieces from the top right to the bottom left, okay? And this, these are a whole lot easier to line up in here because they're small. Um, so they trim up pretty easy. Do that one, put my cardstock in here the same way, just like that. All right, so now we're ready to start adhering some stuff to the front. So my solid cardstock goes first, okay? So I'm just gonna put some adhesive on the back of it, 
and it is going to go right on this piece. And it's very easy to get it centered on there, just like that. Then your other bottom piece, same thing. Put your adhesive on it and center it on there. Okay, now we're ready to do the designer series paper. Okay, this is the new Bird Ballad Designer Series paper. I love this paper. Um, I'm so excited about it in the new catalog, and I've already used up almost an entire pack making various projects. So you will be seeing it a lot from me because I do love this paper. Okay, so there, that is just like that. Okay, now what we want to do, this we actually want to stay solid so that it doesn't open okay so we're just going to take our tear and tape and we're just going to put it as close to the edge as possible down here we're just going to put it along the bottom just like that okay then we can tear our backing off and we're just going to put that down just like that okay now we got to decorate it a little bit Okay, so I'm going to take my two inch circle punch and this is another piece of the paper um, from the bird ballad pack. Okay, this one has all the little flowers with the birds. It's kind of a uh, corally peachy on the back. I love it. But what I'm going to do is I'm just going to pick a bird and I think I'm going to pick this bird over here. And I just want to center him in my circle so that I like the way it looks and punch him out just like that. Okay. Then I'm going to take another coordinating piece of cardstock and I'm going to use the starburst punch and I'm just going to punch one of those out in the coordinating cardstock. Okay. Then I need to put some adhesive on the back. Stick that on there like that. Okay, cute little bird, I like him. Now let's put some words on here. So let's find some white cardstock. And the free as a bird stamp set is the coordinating stamp set that goes with the paper. Love the birds, I've used them a lot already on swaps and things like that. But I am going to use this one right here the world needs more of you because I think I like to well I don't think I like to give gift cards as thank you gifts okay so I'm just going to use my black memento and I'm going to stamp that down like that and then I'm going to use our new punch from the new catalog that looks like this okay and I am just going to punch that out um, my card stuck just like that. Now I'm ready to put this on my card. Okay, so I'm going to use some dimensionals and let's put a couple on the back of our greeting and let's put a couple on the back of, oops, can't just willy nilly stick it on the bird. I forgot. The bird, what we want him to do is he's going to go here, but we only want him attached to this top part. Okay, so the dimensionals have to go like that. Okay, so that they're only going to stick in this part up here. So see, I caught myself, I almost forgot that. So I'm just going to put him on like that. And I've got my words down here. They're going to go just like that. And there you go. There is my fun gift card holder. Oh, and on this one, I did just cut another piece of Whisper White, um, and I cut it five by three and three fourths so that it would slip inside here if you wanted to stamp your greeting or whatever on it, and then your gift card just fits in it just like that. So there you go. So I hope you have enjoyed this fun way of making a gift card holder. Um, and I hope you love this new Bird Ballad paper because I do, and like I said, I'm gonna be using it a lot. But thanks for watching. Please share my video and I'll catch you next week.